Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we are finally upgrading our CO2 Galvo laser scan head from a 10 millimeter to a 20 millimeter. And let me tell you, it, the upgrade is done and the results are mind blowing. We're gonna walk you through everything step by step. The new 20 millimeter head lets us get much finer detail and really unleashes the capabilities of this awesome machine. Now, a lot of you guys know that I was frustrated with my Galvo CO2 when I first got it, but don't worry, I've completely 180'd. I love this freaking thing now. So if you wanna learn how to upgrade from your little 10 millimeter millimeter head to a beastly 20 millimeter one that can actually unlock the full potential of your CO2 Galvo laser. Stick around because we're going to get started with it right now. Okay guys, we've got a lot of work today. We're gonna to be upgrading three things. We're gonna be upgrading our Galvo head, our beam expander, and our lens. And the reason that we're doing this is because we need to get a smaller dot size. Uh, the dot size on the CO2 is much, much bigger than a dot size on something like a fiber. So upgrading these three components are going to allow us to do that. Basically, the beam expander is going to give us a larger beam. The larger mirrors inside the bigger Galvo head will let us use that larger beam and the larger the beam goes into the lens the smaller it's going to come out uh, here is a sample of what our beam expander and 10 millimeter head are capable of doing now so right now we're on a 3x beam expander with a 10 millimeter head and uh, as you can see unlike the fiber which is like marking with a fine point pen, right? Uh, this is kind of like drawing with a Sharpie. We're losing a ton of the small details and it's just really thick and uh, we're not getting the detail we're used to getting out of the fiber laser. So that's the main reason we're upgrading today. So just a couple quick examples here. Uh, we're going to set these samples aside so we can compare later after our upgrade. Also, we're going to just take a second here and put some eyes on this beauty because uh, this and this 20 millimeter Galvo head deserves it. So now we're gonna jump in here and uh, we're gonna remove the back plate. The first thing we're gonna have to do is swap out our power supply. Um, we're gonna show you in a second here, but we're not really using the right power supply to power our 20 millimeter Galvo head. So we're just gonna slide the, uh, the, the doors out here. And you can actually see there's, it's fairly empty inside. Unlike the fiber, there is no laser source inside of this housing. Uh, all that we've got in here, up at the top there, you've got the power supply for the RF tube. Our EasyCAD control board was there at the top, uh, but it's it's pretty much empty. Um, we'll just go ahead and get the other side off here. They slide right out. As you can see, the one that we have installed is a 2.5 amp and our 20 millimeter Galvo head takes 5 amps. So we actually need to swap over here to a 5 amp power supply. Uh, so we're going to be installing this now. You just want to make sure that your hookups on your power supply match up. These two have the same exact hookups, so we shouldn't have any problem there. And uh, we'll just unscrew all of these. And the way the wiring harness is set up, it should just pop right back into place, no problem. Um, That's one of the reasons I like Mactron lasers, because they do such a good job organizing their wiring. It's really clean, and it was only a few minutes to get these swapped out. So no big deal there. Uh, very, very easy stuff. Moving along here, we're just gonna slap the sides back on these panels. Now that our power supply for the Galvo head is upgraded, uh, we're, we're pretty much done with this. Don't forget to line up the vents on your machine to line up over the vents on the power supply because we do want those to be able to uh, exhaust heat effectively. So just make sure those line back up and go ahead and take some time to get your machine back together. Uh, don't rush this back panel. I, I definitely struggled a little bit here. Things weren't quite lining up. I actually put the machine on its face uh, in order to get it done. You're gonna see in just a second here, I've actually tilted it up, yeah. And just kind of work it in really slowly. We don't wanna pinch any of the wires uh, and we don't wanna disconnect anything inadvertently. So just take the extra time uh, that you need to take in order to get this on uh, the right way. And I, I think you're gonna, you know, you, you'll probably struggle with it a little bit. I know I did, but just go slow and it will go back into place. You don't wanna cross thread your, your screws or anything. So get that all back assembled and uh, we are ready to move on. Uh, we're gonna dis connect the Galvo head there. Saw it went by really quick, but we just disconnected the serial cable. And now we're loosening this screw on the neck so that we can actually slide the Galvo head out. 
Uh, just pops right out just like that, no big deal. We're also going to need to remove the neck because this is where the beam expander is housed. So make sure you pull the neck off the mounts as well. You can see the beam expander in there ready to go. And we're just going to loosen up the housing uh, for the beam expander and you push it through in order to get out. So don't try to pull it out the other way. Uh, you got to push it through and pull it out the front. And it'll just pop out there. My video actually froze here while I was swapping them, but you just pop the new one in uh, just the same way with the threads towards the back. Super easy. Uh, no, no problem at all. Uh, and you just want to make sure that it's flush with the casing as you screw the casing back down, which we're going to see here in just a second. So you see I put the casing on and the beam expander is nice and flush with the uh, the casing. Try to tighten them down evenly. You want an even amount of space on both sides so that everything stays center. And uh, with that, we're done. Our beam expander has been swapped out. We're now from a 3X to a 6X beam expander. Go ahead and pop the neck back on the machine and remount it. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about alignment here. We're not gonna go crazy, but you do wanna make sure that your beam is aligned. If you turn the machine on, you can see where the red dot is coming in through the beam expander. So do just make sure that you get that center as you tighten the screws back up. Uh, it's important that we get our beam and our red dot nice and center on those galvo mirrors so that we get our full workspace available to us after the upgrade is complete. So we'll just get those on nice and tight really quick and we can move on. Next, we're just going to add a little white lithium grease to our galvo head. Uh, just to dab will do you and go ahead and apply that directly to the neck so that this slides in nice and easy. Uh, if you're having trouble inserting the head into the machine like I am here, I'm kind of banging up against something that's not really going in. Uh, that's going to be these little bolts right here. Just make sure that you loosen those. Uh, they're, they're there to prevent the head from moving. You loosen them to get the head back in and then we can tighten them back down when we're done. And this will just slide right in thanks to that grease. And uh, once that's finished, we're just going to tighten the clamp back down on the neck to keep it from moving, but we're not gonna go all the way. You'll see me moving the Galvo head here. And I just wanna make sure that it can move a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit so that we can re-level this with the bed. You don't wanna level the Galvo head with the ground, okay? So you can see it's a little off here. Uh, that's okay, we just need to know how level the bed is. Once that's done, we can match that to the head. So here we are, uh, I've moved the Starrett up to the Galvo head. And we're just moving it back and forth until it matches. So now the bed and the head are offset the same amount. Uh, that's really key. I have a video where we cover that uh, with the CO2 Galvo alignment. And with that done, we're just gonna tighten this clamp all the way down. We don't want this head moving. We just got it perfect. Uh, so we'll tighten that down. We're gonna tighten down these little bolts too. And uh, just make sure that our head doesn't go anywhere. We don't want it coming out. We'll reconnect our serial cable. And uh, we're going to tighten that back up. And that's no problem at all. And, and we're pretty much done, guys. We're, we're moving really fast. So you might need to watch this twice and kind of pause as you're working through it. But uh, the upgrade is more or less complete at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. So down at the bottom there, you can see that was with our 3X beam expander and our 10 millimeter head. Uh, up at the top, we've got our new 6X beam expander with our 20 millimeter head. And uh, wow, what a difference. Uh, you can already see there is a huge improvement in the small details, way less burning, uh, way less shadows. It's a lot sharper and we're seeing a huge quality increase there. Uh, here's the second one. And uh, this one is a bit larger at 100 millimeters and you can already see the difference. I mean, just look at the crazy added amount of detail, especially in those long slats kind of in the center there. You can see we get way closer to the core without losing focus. Uh, we've got the new one on the left and the old one on the right. Uh, just a massive upgrade already. The final upgrade and improvement we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a smaller lens size. Uh, the smaller a workspace you use, the smaller your dot size is gonna be. So we've got our old 175 lens here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace this with our 110 lens. And this 110 lens is going to further improve our dot size. Uh, so we should be getting some really fine details now. We're just gonna take a second and screw this into the machine. Uh, nice and tight, be careful not to cross thread it. You can rock it backwards a little bit until you feel it pop into place and then just go ahead and screw it all the way down. And with that done, uh, we can go ahead and compare. So on the right is our new mark, but with the 175. On the left is the new mark, but with the 110. And uh, there's an excellent improvement there as well. Uh, really, really sharp now. This is the quality that we would expect from something like a fiber laser. So 
Uh, great big improvement. I'm I'm super happy with this, guys. And here she is, guys, all put back together. Uh, we've got a brand new focal stick cut for our 110 lens there uh, for the CO2 Galvo, and she's ready to rock. Uh, so let's go ahead and test this out. We can try marking and cutting, and uh, we should be able to do stuff on acrylic now, and wood, and row mark, and uh, all kinds of other stuff. We've got just unlimited possibilities now. I'm really happy with this upgrade. I think you guys are going to be really happy too. If you're currently using a 10 millimeter head, uh, this is just going to make a massive difference for you. Holy crap, guys, that was a lot of information. So again, if you need to uh, head back to the beginning of the video and just watch it again, pause as you go. It's not that complicated, I promise. But um, if you need help, you can definitely reach out to me. If you guys got value out of this video, don't forget to smash the like button and let everybody else know that the content is good. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a video. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that ever happened to you, uh, consider checking out the, wait for it, Laser Master Academy. And this is the first video that we've published since starting the Laser Master Academy, which is functioning as a full replacement for the Patreon. Uh, if you haven't already moved over, please move over really soon. But if you haven't signed up at all, check it out. Uh, the Laser Master Academy is an awesome community-based way to support the channel. Uh, we've got chat features, we've got a forum, we've got uh, the posts are finally organized in places that you can find them. Patreon was just like one giant super long feed of information uh, and your bonus content you really had to dig through to find what you were looking for. Everything is organized into super awesome topics here and uh, it's super easy to find. We've got live events, we're gonna have courses soon. There's a ton of stuff going on over there. So if you wanna support the channel, go check that out. You can find it at masters.lasereverything.net. And of course, there's a link down in the description right next to the link to the Discord, our free online community. Uh, that's just kind of for everybody. And uh, it's an amazing online community where people really come together to help each other out. They share what they're working on. We share photos, videos, bunch of other stuff. So if you haven't already signed up for the Discord, there's a link down in the description to that as well. And uh, I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helps. There's not a lot of content out there about CO2 Galvo lasers, so I'm really looking forward to expanding our library of videos on this subject because I think it's really, really going to help some people out. And one final note, we are a officially on baby watch this baby is coming literally anytime so if i vanish for a day or two uh that's why i'm just dealing with that so uh brand new baby on the way i'm going to be dealing with that but then we'll be right back to making videos i've got a lot more content coming your way so keep your eyes open and i will see you in the next one